looking to grind that London Irish defence down. Woodburn back inside to Hodge. Breaks through the first tackle up to about seven or eight metres short of the line. Penalty coming the way of the Exeter Chiefs as Van Heerden runs round that corner. Hamish Mails will bring them back. London Irish encroaching in an offside position, taken quickly by Vermeulen. Support comes in, debuters crashes up over the line. Advantage coming here for Exeter, so they have another free shot. Burrowing towards that line. Harry Williams looking for another try this season. Another advantage. Seven. Several advantages coming the way of the Exeter Chiefs as debuters gets up and over and scores. It was just wave after wave of Chiefs pressure. Josh Hodge standing directly behind and now breaks to the left hand side along with Simmons and here is Josh Hodge. Hodge barges his way through one, then cuts back inside, feeds it off. Beautiful upline to just two metres short of the line. They're desperate for some support here. Dave Ewers comes flying in to clear out. Penalty given. And it is going to be a yellow card as well, a thick for Ben Loder for impeding on the floor. Well, Hamish Smells looked as though he was reaching for his pocket. Tapped Pearson. Up to just short of the line, Exeter sensing another try. Ewers flings it out, but that was a poor pass. Hamish Mails, though, puts himself at fault. Well, Ben Lader penalised for not getting out of the way on the floor. He has made his way over the side, so London Irish down to 14. And Exeter have a free kick taken quickly, driven up to the short of the line. The forwards know that something's coming here, just short of the line once again. Over the top and touchdown. Try and finished off by Van Heer. Jackson again, Van Rensburg and Oli Woodburn manages to intercept it and Oli Woodburn splits away, no chance for Jensen Van Rensburg, no chance for Hassel Collins, try three for the Exeter Chiefs, an interception and Oli Woodburn with his third this term, his first since a brace against Bristol, the last time the Chiefs won. Ball is laid back, Chinyamunga picks up. An advantage coming here for London Irish as Pearson picks and goes. Simmons looks to go himself. Now Willemse up to five metres short of the line. London Irish once again knocking at the door. Paddy Jackson flings it out wide. Is there enough room? Cutting back inside, touch found. So the defensive line is not breached, but Hamish Smales will bring them back for the penalty in front of the posts. Well, Tom Parton was desperately trying to keep his head off the line. They're going to keep on going. Pearson, pile driving forward, just short of the line. Another wriggle and over. And the try has surely been scored there by Suatala Faso. Incredible power exhibited there to get over that line. He had three defenders on him. Van Heerden as Exeter Chiefs once again claim that ball. He's offside. That's a breakdown. Five goal, he's offside. offside. Rob Simmons adjudged to have been in an offside position there. Simmons dissects the posts. Exeter with immediate points to open up that cushion once again to 12 points. Ball won by Rob Simmons, but then very nearly won back, but won by Pearson. Great, powerful running from him. Good support from Ollie Hoskins. Looks outside him. London Irish up to around 10 metres short of the line. Inglefield's there. Support comes quick and fast from Jagena. They have numbers out wide if they can ship this fast. Rob Simmons calling for it. He drives up to two metres short of the line. London Irish desperate for another score, and they have it this time. Pearson, who created the initial break for London Irish, going over in the end for the try. Six. 
with the clock dead and the penalty awarded to Exeter. All that now needs to be done by Joe Simmons is for him to tap the ball up in the air and find touch and Exeter will have their victory. And you can see what it means to the players after such a long time without. There it is. London Irish threatened. And they threatened hard in that second half, but they still weren't able to turn as much of their territorial possession and position into points as they would have liked to. And in the end, Exeter Chiefs hold on for a valuable victory by 22 points to 17.